Hi guys, so in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be reviewing... Why do I always do this? I review something, then I put it down and can't find it. I'm going to be reviewing the Milani... Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in the shade 00A Porcelain. This is the new lighter shade, and if you want to see what I think of this, how it applies, how it lasts throughout the day on an oily skinned gal, then just keep watching. Okay, so I know that my face might look a little bit crazy in terms of like the pigmentation and stuff in certain areas. It's because I did just film another video and I've just like scrubbed off all my makeup apart from my eyebrows. Um, so my face is a bit like irritated right now because my skin is pretty sensitive. So, as you guys know, the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation, um, I have tried the original palest shade, which I think was like, um, 001 which was their original lightest shade i tried that it was about 10 shades too dark it was so dark um and then milani came out with a even paler shade which everybody was so excited for and it is the shade 00 light natural and i tried this one and this one is still too dark and so then everyone was like milani please we need something for us pale girls and so they finally listened and they've come out with a shade called 00a porcelain they basically like run out because it started out being 001 and then they went they were like oh we need to add a lighter shade let's call it 00 and now they need an even lighter shade and you can't really get like 000 so they've called it 00a porcelain and i did actually end up sell selling the um original palest shade on depop just because it was way too dark for me and i was never gonna wear it i can wear this one when i'm like tanned so these are the two shades side by side this is the new improved one i got one on beauty bay i think it was either 11 or 13 pounds can't remember but it will be linked down below um, and obviously in America you can probably get it at like I don't know where is Milani sold is it like Ulta or Target I'm not really sure as you can see finally there is a actual pale foundation this one is really really pale and um, this one here is 00 and this one is 00A porcelain so as you can see there actually is a pretty big difference the previous lightest shade is a lot more yellow and kind of orange whereas the most recent one is very much a kind of pale true porcelain foundation so i'm not going to be putting this one on my face just because i will look a little bit ridiculous if i did half and half but if you want to see what this one looks like on my skin tone then check out my i think it's the um nikki tutorials made me buy it video i believe i used it in that video but if not just type in soph does nails milani foundation and it should come up i now need to wipe my hand because it's covered in makeup and i have nothing to wipe it on so i think what i'm going to do is half my face using a beauty blender and half my face using a brush one thing i will say about this foundation is it's pretty thick um and i wouldn't necessarily recommend it for dry skin so i'm just doing one pump which comes out like this and i'm trying to put a kind of equal amount on both sides of my face obviously on my nose it's going to be hard to get like half and half so on this side of my face um i do have the sun coming in from the window so it might look a bit um overexposed but i'm going to use my beauty blender to apply this and in my video that i did with emma you probably would have seen that she did not get along with this foundation it wasn't just the color though she really hated the texture of it um, and she often goes for a kind of luminous foundation, so I feel like if you do have dry skin, I probably would not recommend this to you, just because, yeah, Emma really hated the texture, it was way too dry for her. Whereas on me, I have oily skin. Okay, so there we go, that is the coverage using my Beauty Blender. As you can see, it's got pretty good coverage, and I actually really like the, found the uh, finish of this foundation. I forgot to mention that I did prime my face as normal using my Soap and Glory Speed Plump, because I'm going to try and do everything that I would normally do like the same in this video. So that is the side that I blended out with the Beauty Blender. I will give you a close-up of both sides in a minute. Um, but the other side, I'm blending out with my Blank Canvas Cosmetics F08 brush. Although it has good coverage, I definitely do need some more coverage around my nose. But I'm just going to see... Well, it blends with a foundation brush because I honestly cannot remember. I don't think I've actually used a brush for this before. By the way, if you're wondering, my eyebrows, the Benefit Cabral in the shade 2. Okay, so as always, um, this foundation is a little bit too pink toned for my skin. It's actually almost a little bit too pale but obviously once i've bronzed up and everything i think it will be fine um and also in the winter i know that this will be fine but i am like i still have a little bit of a remaining tan from my holiday i'm just holding a palette up to stop the light from my window like shining on my face so you can get a true representation i feel like the side with the buffing brush has a tiny bit more coverage um if you look around my nose especially 
yeah, I feel like my nose is a lot more red around the side of the Beauty Blender and also my blemishes here, you can see. Um, whereas, yeah, obviously you can still see this spot up here because it's quite big, but I feel like it covered the redness on my nose a bit better with the brush. Okay, so the finish of the foundation, I would say it's not matte, but it's also not dewy. It's kind of just like an in-between. I feel like my softbox lights make it look pretty dewy, but it's not really that dewy, um, but it definitely isn't matte. I don't really know how to describe it, it's just kind of somewhere on the in-between. So if you do have oily skin like me, you would definitely need to powder this down. Because it feels quite like sticky on my face. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm going to use my Bordeaux Radiance Reveal Concealer, which is the one that I've been using pretty often recently. And I'm just going to apply some of this under my eyes. And then I'm going to powder as normal as well, using my Match Perfection Powder from Rimmel. And then I'm just bouncing in this concealer. Okay, so then to set everything in place, I'm using my Rimmel Match Perfection Powder. It pretty much has matched my neck. I don't know, does this powder have a bit of colour in it? I thought it was translucent. Okay, so I'm now just going to go and finish off the rest of my makeup. I'm going to do a bit of uh, bronzing and highlighting and add some mascara and lipstick. And then I will be right back. I am actually about to go and film a first impression and review on the L'Oreal. Um, Lash Paradise Mascara, so if you guys want to see a video on this, then just check back on my channel It's probably up already before this video. I've just done my bronzer, my highlighter and my lipstick. My lipstick is the L'Oreal Wait, where did it even go? Lipstick is the L'Oreal Lip Paint in the shade Off-White. I bought this in Superdrug the other day because um, I'd seen that Jordan really likes it um, and yeah, I wanted to give it a go and I actually really like it. It's a really pretty nude colour. So I'm just going to give you guys a close-up of the foundation um, before I carry on with my day. So obviously I haven't done my mascara yet um, but this is what the foundation looks like with my bronzer and highlighter on. Um, at the moment it looks pretty matte because obviously I did powder on my full face but that's just what I gotta do if I want my foundation to last. So this is what it looks like right now it's currently quarter to three in the afternoon so I'll try and check back a couple of times throughout the day before I go to bed and yeah here we go so just a cheeky little update the foundation has been on my face for half an hour and so far no change my oils have not started to appear but check back with you in a bit okay so just a little update the foundation has now been on my face for four hours like exactly four hours I'm pretty sure and yeah let's just have a look how it's looking okay, so from a distance it looks absolutely fine but up close there's a couple of issues that i'm starting to notice it is definitely starting to separate around my nose like especially on this side it's really coming off around here another thing that i've noticed is kind of like around my mouth area and around my chin it's starting to like fade a little bit and go a little bit blotchy however i think that could be because i ate a peach at lunchtime and it like dribbled down my face <laughs> and i had to like mop my face mop my mouth and let my chin with a bit of kitchen roll so that might have disturbed the foundation a little bit my forehead is basically looking completely matte um, my forehead doesn't tend to get as oily as the rest of my face my main problem areas on my face are like my cheeks here and my nose the rest of my face and everything looks absolutely fine like none of my like contour or highlight or anything has faded it is starting to sink into my smile lines but you know that's a given i just have extremely deep set smile lines um so any foundation sinks into them like I haven't even been doing that much talking today or smiling today, but just any foundation sinks into them. So, this is the problem area that I'm talking about, about around my nose. Hopefully you can see that, and also, yeah, it's sunk into my smile lines, and you can probably see my chin as well. So after four hours, I feel like it looks okay. It's not the best foundation I've ever tried. I am going to be having an Indian takeaway tonight, so my face might get messy. And also, I'm seeing Sam, so... I don't know, he normally tries to rub off my makeup. <laughs> Just because he knows that it annoys me, he will always like wipe my nose or something, like with his hand, and I'm like, don't do that. Just if you move over a little bit, like over to that, that way, then they can't see you. <laughs> it's just a little like two minute update. Okay, so. <laughs> I can't. Something wrong? <laughs> can I leave that in? Do you want to have <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. So it's been on now for seven hours and it just, it's not looking as greatest. Just so you guys know, Sam is down here like leaning off the edge of my bed because the phone cable for his phone, like the only charge we had is like this long. And so he's leaning like half hanging off my bed and it's really distracting. Um, So it's all like settled into my small lines, as you can probably see. And also like really broken up around my nose. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's just really not looking great. I feel like 
on most normal days I would have powdered by now so it probably would be looking a bit better but yeah I feel like it's it's not looking the greatest and for some people that say that this foundation is like their holy grail foundation I think they must have like normal skin types just because on me it's got like pretty oily by seven hours of wear um, and I do have foundations that don't look as bad as this after seven hours so I'm just going to give you a quick close up. So like I said earlier I have really bad issues with my smile lines so you can see it's like majorly sunk into them here um, but I normally have to like rub them in throughout the day. And yeah, just around my nose, like it's really not looking great. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, no, it's just my nose that's like the main problem area. I definitely would wear this foundation again, but I would definitely have to powder like midway through the day. I normally do that anyway for foundations, but I just wanted to give it like a proper run and see how it goes. Um, it's also like broken up a lot around my chin and stuff, so. It's not the best for oily skin, but it is still a good foundation. I like the coverage, I like the finish, I like the colour, and I think if you have normal skin or like combination skin, then you're going to really like this, but if you have super oily skin, just know that it's not going to last like a full day without powdering, so there we go. Skin. It's like a little bit oily, a little bit dry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I actually just went and powdered my face and I feel like the foundation looks a lot better So like if you were to powder your face throughout the day, then it definitely <laughs> Please make an appearance in this video. It will only be the true subscribers that see you. There he is <laughs> Yeah, so it definitely looks a lot better now that I've powdered like around my nose It looks better and stuff and I kind of rubbed in my smile line So I think if I did powder this foundation, I could probably get away with it for a lot longer So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I am coming at you for this outro like from the past so when I'm filming the outro I have only just applied the foundation but um yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful and I hope it helped you decide whether or not you want to buy the foundation or not and um, like I said I will leave all the links down below from where you can get it in the UK and Europe and USA and all that kind of stuff um so if you aren't already subscribed to my channel and you have enjoyed this video and you want to see more foundation reviews and you want to see more videos about like pale skin and drugstore makeup and all of that fun stuff then make sure you press the subscribe button and turn on my notifications i also have a giveaway which is currently running so if you want to enter that too then uh head over to that video and find out the rules so i hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you in the next video bye